It is 644 this Saturday morning, taking a live look right now at York Harbor Beach. And Jason, I'm pleasantly surprised to see a couple of leaves still left on these trees with the nice fall color. I was worried that the wind from, you know, the storm yesterday into this morning would blow all of them off. Well, but I guess there are a few, few still left. Fortunately, this storm came in now as opposed to in about two or three weeks. Mm. Once we get to peak and past peak, that's when those leaves have got no shot. Well, yeah. <laughs> 40 mile an hour wind or 50 right. mile an hour wind, but that's a beautiful morning in New York Beach. Uh, just want to let everyone know, Chloe and I are headed, we're, we're done. We're, we're going down to the <laughs> beach. We're going to go check out, because that's the only place really the sun's out and it's clear and you wouldn't yeah. even know right. what's going on in eastern Maine right now. No, but yeah, different tale of two, two parts of the state, right. so to speak. Still people dealing with rain, uh, people without power. I mean, it was a pretty heavy storm. It's still raining for some. Fall cleanup is going to be a thing this weekend. And then we're mild throughout the uh, weekend for everyone. We're not going to see a big dip into the uh, 20s or 30s like we've seen um, in just last weekend. 55 right now in Portland. We're having fair weather clouds that are above us. In Bangor, you see the, wave, the pavement is still wet, 59, a few sprinkles, but the heavy rain, the flooding rain has ended there. Flood watch is up now until 8 o'clock in the morning as you head about Bangor and ports, uh, points east and north. That's where it is still coming down, as indicated here on radar. You're seeing a little bit of a mezzo low spinning up here, a little bit of low pressure starting to pick up and fire up some instability in the atmosphere. Take advantage of that in uh, parts of the county in northern Washington County. But I can tell you that in Bar Harbor and also down in Rockland, the mid coast and in Bangor, the rain ending there. So the manhole cover is no longer going to be, you know, kind of bumping up, not flying in the sky, certainly, but there certainly have been rising picture on my social media of that from the Bangor Fire Department uh, was incredible. Now, as far as the rain going on, Patton, Danforth, uh, Carroll, Holton, up in the county in Presque Isle, they're still getting the rain at this hour. So watch out for flooding there. Washington County heading up Route 1 northwest of Callis, where the rain is still happening at this hour. Watch out for flooding, which clearly with the accumulation of rain, you can see uh, flooding has been happening throughout the entire state tonight. Two, three, four inches of rain here northwest of Portland. Uh, I saw a total of someone locally getting more than five inches of rain. So all over the state, south of Augusta, up in Lincoln, seeing quite a bit here, more than two to three, four inches. Um, and this rain ongoing throughout the morning hours. So now the sun coming up, big improvements for everyone. Rain ends as we get through late in the morning. Sky clears west to east. That's where we're going to see the big improvements as far as the sun coming out, drying out things. You have to do some raking of the leaves today and the fall cleanup. Nice for October as we get through the evening time with 50s and 60s and not as chilly as we get through tonight. 40s and 50s as opposed to 20s or 30s. So big improvements there for everyone. Small craft advisory though, obviously the surfers will be out five to eight feet for the Mariners. Close to a gale there. Uh, inland, how about the temperature in the 60s for days? And then we get another little system. Upper level low spins through Tuesday, Wednesday with 50s on the back side of that. So clearly back in the fall spirit of things here. 57, 57, and then sunny Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So a weekend that you're going to enjoy the 60s, very comfortable. Uh, for my money, Chloe, I didn't put any money in this forecast, but if I had, I would say I, I like it a little cooler uh, for the middle of October, mm -hmm. uh, especially thinking about the spooky season and Halloween. But you take what Mother Nature gives us, so help with the heating bill right now. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Jason.